Hello, good evening. Hi, Ivan. Hi, Wendy. Hello, Oscar. How are you today? Good evening. Doing fine. well? Fine. Okay. Uh, one question. Um, are you able to, to see me? Uh, Oscar, no. 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 Oh, really? But I, what I want you to tell me is I, I uh, have my my webcam on, but uh, I'm not my, yeah, we you see know, your picture, uh, your face uh, shadow, uh, but not uh, clear. Oh, but, but but is the webcam on? Uh, yes, it, it is on. It's on. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. But I see your uh, shadow from the face, but not your face. Uh, too dark. Yeah, All it's right. it's kind of dark. Yes, exactly. All right. All right. Exactly. Thank you. Do you see the document that I sent you? Yes. I okay. Yes. I okay. I hope that you can download it because we are, we're going to work on the on uh, breakout rooms, um, about uh with the reading. So today will be your job. Mm -hmm. How is everything, uh, Ivan? Good? Yeah, good, teacher. How, are you? How is everything? Uh, the day was very, very busy because I was training with my co worker. Oh, yeah, you always have a, a very busy day, right? So, good, okay. excellent. Okay, yeah. Um, hi, Jenny, hi, Carla, Luis. Hi, Tamara. teacher. Good evening, good evening, Wendy. Good evening, Hello. teacher. Hello, how are you guys? Are you ready? It's Friday Chiquito today. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. I was I was saying that I sent you a document and I hope that you can download it and where well, I'm going to explain it uh, with that document with about the reading. That's the one that we are working to uh, to go for about 30 minutes on the breakout rooms, okay? So, in, because I need you to work. I need you to discuss uh, between you. It has been windy, but uh, the weather is it's hot also, right? <clears throat> It's hard. Let's see, we got some message over on it, teacher. I sent you a message under the was oh yes, thank you. Yeah. Uh thank you very much. I got it. Um Ah, okay. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you. Okay, guys. Uh, the topic from yesterday, we I think we were this, uh, talking about the grammar forms, right? Does, does it, am I correct on it? Am I correct on it? Oh, no, sorry, I lost you. What did you say? Uh, yesterday we were working on the grammar forms, right? We were discussing and, and discussing that one, right? <clears throat> are, are you able to listen to me? Your teacher, yes. Yes. Ah, ah, okay, okay, okay. 
Good. Well, let's uh, let's uh, review real quickly about it, and uh, and then we're going to go on the breakout rooms to uh, discuss and talk about it and share ideas. That's the topic for it. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, the document that I send you has the it has the the grammar forms that we uh, were discussing yesterday. Okay, today is uh what day is today, guys? Thursday. Uh -huh. oh, Thursday. Thursday. Today is Thursday. Thursday. Yes, Thursday, October nineteenth. And this is the last class of this uh, at your service. So because on, on Monday, we're going to do for the final part. I hope that you, everybody can attend classes as well. So yesterday we were discussing how to make suggestions. When do we make suggestions? In which cases or what cases do we make suggestions? Tell me ideas. Remember that uh, I'm not saying that they are right, they are wrong. So you're just, we are just discussing this one. Uh -huh. Well, we make suggestions when someone asks for this. Uh, when someone has a situation that he, uh, he or, or she needs somebody to help. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, when someone asks, oh, maybe the person do, does not ask about it, but if we see that the person has some situations, some issues, so we give suggestions. And, and suggestions about what, for example, thank you, uh, Xiomara, that was a good participation. Uh, and about what topics do we give suggestions? Give me ideas. About uh, meeting people. Ah, okay, about meeting people. Okay, good. What else? Food? About, uh, for example, in the okay. COVID-19. COVID ah, okay. So when we, uh, someone got a sickness and uh, we gave suggestion, even though sometimes we we give a uh, uh, home remedies, right? Okay, about sickness, about situations, and what else? About, uh, for example, how to do things in a better way. Ah, uh, how to do things in a better way. That's that's good. So, um, and we give suggestions uh, with different, uh, different ways. The most common, like I, I was saying yesterday, is why don't you uh, talk to her? Why don't you join her? Why don't you uh, call uh, the person? Why don't you do this? And uh, that, that's the most common. The most common with people um, on the street, right? But academically, there are other ways that we can ask people. I mean, um, other ways can we make suggestions? And you have it over there in the chart or in the manual also. Uh, by the way, with this chart was included on the document as you see that, that I sent you. So, <clears throat> Page 61. so with Gerans. Exercise nine, grammar focus, making suggestions with Gerans. What about looking through the personal ads? Have you thought about joining an online dating service? With infinitives. It might be a good idea to check out those discussion groups at the bookstore. One thing you could do is go to a discussion group at the bookstore. One thing you could do is to go to a discussion group at the bookstore. With modals plus verbs. Maybe you could go to a chat room on the internet. With negative questions. Why don't you join a dating service? Why don't you do? Okay, I, we were at this, uh, at this exactly. So we can use how about, and what about, or have you thought in these cases. There are the examples over there. So as included in the, on the document also, what are they? 
The other we use models. I might be a, it might be a good idea. One thing you could do is remember <clears throat> when you say is the follow the next one is going to be a verb. Like the example over here. That's why you have to we not you we have to use the infinitive to the infinity to okay because it's got it might be a good idea to check uh to check out those discussion groups and so on and uh, and and the other is a uh, one thing you could do is to go to call because you had the verb uh, to be over here so and you need to use the infinitive to, okay? To go, to call, to uh, talk to her, uh, to send a bunch of flowers, uh, anything else. So that's the way. So we use, uh, it's a good idea, or well, one thing you could do is to call her, to send a, a apologize, a apologizing card or whatever. Okay, so that's the thing. Then the other one is you might. What is the other one? Uh huh. May be models. What is the other one? Base verb. Uh huh. Maybe you could plus base verb. You have the example over there. Okay. Maybe you could. Uh, go to a child on internet, okay? Uh, maybe you could uh, send uh, uh, a couple of flow uh, some flowers. Maybe you could buy a uh, chocolate box. If the, the, the advice is about a romantic relationship, when someone has broken up, okay? And then, uh, so, so you, just uh, like I said, it's just uh, been practicing. And the other thing is that the, the easiest one, the most popular on the streets, uh, the most popular on the streets, saying, why don't you, and, and so on. So this, these are the ways that uh, we used to apologize over there. Now, <clears throat> uh, let me see. Yes. So there you have some uh, match the problems with the best suggestion. More than one answer is possible. So for example, you can say, how, how can I build self-confidence? How can you build self-confidence, Guy? By doing what? Participating more social activities. And uh, participating in more social activities and being how uh, and learn how to be talkative, how to have a relationship uh, with other people. So yes, and uh, and what about what could I what could help me be happier? Trying not play to concentration get... games. Uh -huh. so and uh, and uh, uh, play uh, fun activities it says over there. Uh -huh. fun activities to look uh, forward to every week. What is forward? What is the word forward? What is the word forward? It's like a, to be anxious to do something. Yeah, and just to do something and to look uh, on the to the future, to look to the future, and to, and to look backwards. So don't look backward. Is um, look at the past. So yes, uh, to look to the future. I how can I lose weight? Put down calories. Ah, okay. okay. So uh -huh, cut down on calories. Okay. So that's an, an excellent. And what else? What else can you do to lose weight? Oh, what about to uh, working out? 
are working out. Yes, that's that's all we help. Okay. In my case, the doctor said go to the gym, but you need to get uh, to make uh, a little bit more muscles. <laughs> okay, not to lose uh, fat. Okay, what can I do to save money? Oops, give me advice. Letter E, teacher. Uh huh. What's letter E? Come up with a budget. Ah uh, yes, come up with a budget. Uh huh. Exactly. So make a list of the things that you have to do, priorities, right? That's that's about it. Make a list of the most important things. Uh, well, I I wish I could do that. <laughs> okay. How can I improve my memory? Oops, my my. Uh, teacher, this is the letter B. Play Which the one? Concentration games. Ah, uh, okay. So, uh, exactly. Play concentration games. In fact, uh, 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 some of the kids have learned English because they have been playing a lot of games, uh, right? So, but play concentration games, like uh, games that we call it uh, Juegos de Mesa, like chess, which is really good. Mm -hmm. And how can I get along with, with my roommate, Burrier? Yeah, what is it? Uh huh. Letter D, sure. Maybe. Letter, letter, uh huh. Letter D. Not to create a pivot. Uh, pivot. What that means? Uh -huh. what the <laughs> that's that's very interesting. I was I was asking myself. Okay, right now that I saw it. Uh, okay, but we'll find out what is it. Uh, uh, let me go. I hope that this works. Uh, really good. One second. Oh, let me, let me. Uh, let me, uh, yes. Uh, let me share uh, this one with you. Uh, oh, remember the, the, yeah. Remember the last time I mentioned a dictionary? I'm not making propaganda, by the way. <laughs> uh, 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 so um, I mentioned a dictionary it's called uh, uh, Loman English Dictionary. From um, this is from Pearson. Uh, are you following the where am I going on on um, on Chrome? Are you able to see my uh search on internet yes yes okay yes, teacher. uh loman uh, loman and dictionary online and the word is a uh, pill right so this is a very academic uh, uh yeah it's an adjective uh piva this silence she left Annoy. The word is annoy. So the word is annoy. Uh huh. I got another uh -huh. another meaning to it. You know, if it, it's uh -huh. that right, it says that uh, for someone that get fur furious or or get mad. Uh, ah, mad. It, it, it's the uh -huh. same thing. Uh huh. Annoy is when something bothers you. Uh, oh. you you got mad about something so that's okay. it's, it's the same thing it means the same thing yeah oh, all right this uh, dictionary I like it because uh, it's uh, uh, the definition it, they are very academic so you in, um, they are very academic so and very short okay so it's the same thing exactly uh, mad it, it was the the meaning that you got right Correct. Correct. Okay. So yeah, uh, we we're, we're on the on the same speech. Okay. So that's that's one of the things that we now now let's see. Well, we can go to this one, but uh, I need I really need you to work on that one. So giving advice, uh, you can practice. Uh, in, in fact, the example is over there. Uh, how can I build self confidence? How can uh, someone build 
self-confidence. Self -confidence. You have the answer over there. One, One thing, thing you could do, do is, is to participate in more social activities. Eh, bravo, yes. I just make it over there. Or uh, one thing you can, could do is to participate in more social activities. Or you can use uh, one way you can do, right? Something like that. Uh, we need to go to the thing over there. Uh huh. But so exactly. Uh, what could I help? What could help me be happier? What will be the sentence, ladies? Let's use one thing you could do. Let's practice with this one. Aha, uh -huh, Carla, Rene. One thing you could do is visit your friends, maybe weekly or once a month. Yeah, okay. What thing you could do is to visit your friends, exactly. Or you can use the, the suggestion over there. Uh, one thing you could do is to plan fun activities to look toward, uh, forward, not toward, uh, forward um, uh, every day. So that's the, the way that you can practice with this one. I will suggest you to have the, the different uh, ways that we can make uh, suggestions like the ones over here and start practicing with the second part of, the, of this, uh, this exercise and saying then in a loud voice, okay? Remember that uh, I hope that I won't get in trouble with this one. I always tell my students I'm not teaching you English. I'm teaching how to do it. Uh, wh how you do it and wh what to do and, and at the end it's yourself who, who learn. I learned this one from 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 a guy in Mexico that he's very good at English uh, teaching English. He's an expert on that one and that's he said. In so little time I just do, say do this, do that, do that and so I uh, practice the different ways to uh, later on to say this, uh, uh, to making suggestions using the the your your uh, right column, okay. Another way that you could do is this one. Why don't you try? Uh, uh, why don't you play? Uh, why don't you play what? Uh, why don't you play concentration games and so on? So that will help you a lot, okay. Okay, uh, let's go on the listening over there. So a best suggestion. And uh, what is the learning? All you have to do is to do what? What is the, let's see, uh, one whose camera is not, Sarah Elisa, could you help me with the learning objectives, please? Listen to problems and suggestion, suggestions. Develop skills in listening to details. Okay, listening for details, right. Uh, to listen to details. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Well done. Okay, so we have how overcome. Um, the problems are one, one, what is it? Uh, to overcome shyness. Shyness. Um, uh, and number two. Beating your, your nails. And you become like this. Becoming like this. And number three. Organize your busy schedule. Does anyone of you identify with these problems? Does any, any of you identify with these problems? Yes or no? Yes, in my case, sometimes I feel a, a little shy. Ah, okay. And, and, and why do you feel shy or, or because of what? 
uh, you know, I remember since I was a child, I always uh, was a, a child, uh, a shy uh -huh. uh, uh, kid. So now, as the time has gone by, I think uh, I haven't gotten, uh, I gotten a little bit better about this problem. But now is I know that it's always is on me. I oh, always okay. feel I'm I'm not shy, but the, but then the other day I'm shy and yeah and so on. And, and it's depending on uh, who you are with, right? So it, it might depend on that one. Okay, so what are the best suggestions for, I'm sorry, for each of these um, problems? Let's listen and I will play the audio um, once and you just listen to the whole audio, okay? Then I will play a um, don't try to take notes on the first, okay? Because otherwise you will lo uh, you will lose what it says uh, or will you lose what it says after. On the first time, only listen. And like people say, pay attention. Okay, here we go. Page 62, exercise 10, listening. All you have to do is part A. Listen to three different suggestions for each problem in the chart. Write down the suggestion you think is best. 1. How to overcome shyness. Well, I think if you're really shy, it might be a good idea to see a therapist or someone like that. You know, to get some professional help. You can't always change by yourself. Or how about getting one of those self-help books from the library? I'm sure there are books around with lots of good suggestions that you can try. I think the best thing is to join a club and do activities where you have to meet and talk to different people. Like, if you join a theater group and work on putting on a play, you'll probably be able to overcome your shyness. 2. How to Stop Biting Your Fingernails I think biting your fingernails is just a sign of anxiety. So the first thing to do is to find out what's making you nervous. Once you've identified that problem and then solved it, the nail biting will disappear. My sister used to bite her nails all the time, so she started wearing bright red nail polish. She bought the really expensive kind, so she felt that she had made an investment in quitting her bad habit. I think the polish made her think about what she was doing, too. Anyway, after a few months, it worked, and she has really nice nails now. I guess if you're a guy, it's a little more difficult, though. Maybe you could find something else to do when you're stressed out, like tapping your fingers or counting to a hundred. You have to try to transfer your habit into a different activity, one that doesn't cause such a problem. Three. How to organize your busy schedule. To organize a busy schedule, one thing you could do is make a list. I usually make a list of all the things I have to do, then I prioritize them. Then I decide which days I'm going to get the things done based on which errands are the most important. Maybe you could use a bulletin board to organize your schedule. Write your activities on slips of paper and then pin them to the board under the different days. If you have Wednesday afternoon off and you have to get your hair cut, then pin Get My Hair Cut under Wednesday, and so on. If your schedule is really busy, it might be a good idea to get help. There are plenty of professional consultants who organize people's lives. It's expensive, but if you're too busy, it's the only way to get everything done. Okay, I will play it again and I will make a pause. I will stop the audio for about a minute or so and you write the best suggestion, okay? Oh, by taking notes, not necessarily the whole paragraph or the whole sentence, by, by uh, taking notes. There we go. Page 62, exercise 10, listening. All you have to do is Part A. Listen to three different suggestions for each problem in the chart. 
write down the suggestion you think is best. 1. How to overcome shyness. Well, I think if you're really shy, it might be a good idea to see a therapist or someone like that. You know, to get some professional help. You can't always change by yourself. Or how about getting one of those self-help books from the library? I'm sure there are books around with lots of good suggestions that you can try. I think the best thing is to join a club and do activities where you have to meet and talk to different people. Like, if you join a theater group and work on putting on a play, you'll probably be able to overcome your shyness. Two. Okay. Could you please, uh, but only send it to me, okay? Not to everybody, okay? Uh, write your the best suggestion on the chat, please. You got a minute. And just send it to me, not to everybody. The goal or the objective is that uh, uh, you write your own, and I'm sure, remember, Anything that you write will be okay. The goal is to communicate. Okie dokie, I got one already. Ah, okay. I will read some of them after uh, about five, seven students, uh, seven of you have uh, say something, okay? Otherwise, I will be stuck over here. No, no, it's not true. Okay. Good. Excellent. Okay. Join a club in some activities. A professional help. It may be a good idea to get professional help or to buy help a, a help book. Maybe to go to the club and meet other people. Right. Uh, for this, oh, okay. For designing, it's important with professional help. Maybe with a psychologist. Good, excellent. Okay, good, excellent. An applause for all of you. Number two. Oops, I tell you, I'm running. Um, How to stop biting your fingernails. I think biting your fingernails is just a sign of anxiety. So the first thing to do is to find out what's making you nervous. Once you've identified that problem and then solved it, the nail biting will disappear. My sister used to bite her nails all the time, so she started wearing bright red nail polish. She bought the really expensive kind, so she felt that she had made an investment in quitting her bad habit. I think the polish made her think about what she was doing, too. Anyway, after a few months, it worked, and she has really nice nails now. I guess if you're a guy, it's a little more difficult, though. Maybe you could find something else to do when you're stressed out, like tapping your fingers or counting to a hundred. You have to try to transfer your habit into a different activity, one that doesn't cause such a problem. Three. Hey, hey, thank you very much. I got a lot of, uh, on the first answer, the best suggestion for shyness. And then I pass all of them that I hope the video uh, take it in order to see. Congratulations. We're improving on this one. Now, the second one, uh, yeah, it has to be. Uh, raise your hand, and I would like two participation, at least two. How to stop beating or biting your fingernails, going like like this. Raise your hand. Maybe one boy, one lady. Hands up, hands down, hands up, hands down. <laughs> okay, Daniel. But teacher, uh -huh. with the second problem, how do you stop biting your fingernails? I think um, 
the audio says with uh, the first is um, looking for in and identify what is the problem with the nervously because this is the first reason when uh, some people is nervously mm -hmm. is uh, begin or start to bite in the the fingernails and I think this is the one or the first reason but yeah. uh, someone said someone could to find what is the origin or the begin to the nervously. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, the, if I'm not mistaken, the audio says that uh, that um, it's more common with boys, uh, with women that are with boys, but it happened with boys as well, or with men. Um, I wouldn't say this one, but one of my brothers, he has that habit. He, he's trying to uh, overcome that one, but it's over there. Okay, guys, and uh, we cannot continue on this one, so, but I'm sure, uh, let me just play it, and I will not ask for participation on this one, just for you to get the... Organize your busy schedule. To organize a busy schedule, one thing you could do is make a list. I usually make a list of all the things I have to do, then I prioritize them. Then I decide which days I'm going to get the things done based on which errands are the most important. Maybe you could use a bulletin board to organize your schedule. Write your activities on slips of paper and then pin them to the board under the different days. If you have Wednesday afternoon off and you have to get your hair cut, then pin get my hair cut under Wednesday and so on. If your schedule is really busy, it might be a good idea to get help. There are plenty of professional consultants who organize people's lives. It's expensive. But if you're too busy, it's the only way to get everything done. Okay. Uh, okay, that's, that's the thing over there with that one. Uh, now, we're going to go uh, with the listening. Now, let me just project this, uh, share this one with you. Um, oh, my mom. This one. Okay, I will send you in. A, I will send you in a breakup rooms. Um, about three, four, uh, in the in each of the groups, and these are the steps. For example, uh, for example, it says the reading, the objective, and step one. What are you going to do? You are going to take uh, turns reading. Uh, reading. By uh, by by reading a paragraph each of you. So it means that if you are working in trios, so let's say Julio will read one, Xiomara will be, uh, read the other paragraph. And uh, so let's say Julio will read the, the two uh, short paragraph introduction, then Xiomara will read the, the other, uh, the paragraph number one, uh, and who else, I forgot your names. And uh, 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 let's say Lino is going to read the other paragraph and so on. That is, I call it as a reading practice. So it doesn't matter that you, you don't understand. But reading a loud voice that everybody can hear and you hear yourself as well. The second step, okay, uh, what you can join is a step one with a step two. Uh, for example, a read paragraph one, uh, the story of number one, and then you discuss uh, in a minute or so, what do you read about it? What do you understand about the reading, okay? And step three, you're going to read the article again, and you're going to write the number of each of the paragraph. For example, if... Uh, uh, your mind believes that you tell it, so be positive about your memory if you believe that is paragraph three, so you will write number three over there if it is possible. I think it's possible, okay? So because it's, it's a Word document. I don't know if it's number three. And uh, so uh, again, a step one with a step two, you can join. You can read and then discuss what is the paragraph about. And a step three, Read again, 
and find out which paragraph is the one that uh, matches the sentences. There you have a vocabulary, uh, and that will be, I'll give you like 20 minutes to do this one, okay? Comprende? Comprende? Sure. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Good, excellent. Sure. Uh, all of you had the document, right? Yes. yes. Okay, good. I see 20 minutes is no, yes, yeah, about uh, uh, fixed 10 minutes in order to have attend, attend the, the list. Oops, sorry, let me go. Uh, Ay, Dios mío. Okay. You should be receiving the, the invitation. Teacher, I have yes. a question. Uh huh. Uh, this is a question in general. When you finish this module? Uh, on next week on Thursday. Uh, okay, thank you. Next week about this time. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh huh. Okay, you should be. Not yet. All right. Uh huh. You should be receiving the invitation right now. Please. I receive it. Yeah, join it. Just one. Uh, please join the chat rooms. Please, please join it. Jorge, join the chat room.
Okay, guys, what is the step one? Read the article. Aha, uh -huh, okay, read the article, okay? So I shouldn't be interfering over here. It's your job. <laughs> read the article. You read one piece of the article, then uh, Romeo reads another, Oscar reads another, Carla Rene reads another, and then you start an, uh, read the other, Sarita. Okay, please. Okay. Carla, if you want, you can start. Okay. Mark began to introduce the guest speakers to the audience, but then paused in oral. He had forgotten her name. Barbara had her jewelry when she went on vacation. When she came back, she couldn't remember where she put it. Romeo, continue with the next one. Fisher, I, I can see the document. I, I can download the uh, okay. Okay. WhatsApp. Yes. Okay, let me present it for you. Okay, let me share yes, please. it uh, with you. Yes, I'm sorry, but I, no, I, that's I, I try. I am trying, but I, I can't. Okay, don't apologize. Okay, uh, go ahead. Romeo, perhaps. Okay, number three, really? No, number two. Number one, oh. perhaps. Oh, okay. Perhaps uh, you have experience like this. Most people have, and what's worse, most people have resigned themselves to a life of forgetting. Their uh, un unaware of a simple but important fact, Memor memory can be developed if you just accept that fact, this book will show you how. Okay, good, excellent. Who's next? That thing is, who's next? Uh, number two, uh, Carla René, right? Or Sara? No. I will just, uh, no. Okay, uh, the, the next one is Carla René, I believe, no. Oscar, it's your turn. Number two. Number two, okay. Mm -hmm. First, relax. If you're over anxious about remembering something, you'll forget it. Relaxing will um, change your awareness and ability to concentrate. Take deep breaths and tell yourself that you have all the time in the world to remember. Okay. Number three, I believe it's Carla. Okay, number three. Second, avoid being negative. If you keep telling yourself that your memory is bad, your mind will come to believe it and you won't remember things. When you forgot something, don't say, gee, I need to have my brain rewired. Jokes like this are negative and will have a negative effect on you and your memory. Great. And uh, uh, Carla, is it, is it you? The next one? No, me. Uh, to improve oh. your memory, you'll need to take an active role. Like your body, your memory can be strengthened through exercise. Look for opportunities to exercise your memory. For example, if you are learning a language, Try to actively remember irregular bear, irregular bear. Okay, who's next? Number five. Okay, you may also want to make associations or links between what you're trying to remember and things you are reading now. For example, if you need to catch a plane at 2 p.m., you can imagine a uh, plane in your mind and not notice that it has two winds. Two winds uh, equal uh, two. You are now 10 times more likely to remember the takeoff time. Okay. Uh, 
in general, what is the reading about? Like suggestion to have a good memory. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else? Thank you. Uh, Romeo, Oscar. Mm, the reading is talking about the problems about the memorize things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, when you, for example, uh, if you want to memorize something, you need to relax your mind or or breathe uh, and read yourself. Um, that's all. Okay, good, okay, yeah. great, fantastic. Oscar, what else? There are plenty of things that you can say about uh, this one. The number two, teacher? No, uh, what is the reading in general about? Okay, or maybe number two, but it's not reading. It's your what you understood about the reading in your own words, in sus propias palabras. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, it's talking about we need to uh, take relaxing uh, about a lot of uh, things that we can stress ourselves. Um we need to practice mm -hmm. uh, a lot of uh, I don't know who say um uh, exercise okay. to be chill. Okay, great. Uh, who's missing? It, it was Sarah. No, you Carla. I guess. Yes, for me the text is. It can give me some advice for improve my memory. Mm -hmm. How can I say to me uh, to be positive, to understand something in the life? And how can I do to associate some things to have a better memory in the future? Okay, great. Thank you very much. Uh, an applause for all of you, okay? That was a great, a great, great speech. Okay, yeah. And one thing that uh, that it catch my attention is on paragraph number three that it says, "Avoid being negative. Never, never being negative. Saying I can't, I cannot do it. I, what about if? What about if? What about if? Avoid the if also. Okay. So I know life is difficult. Believe me." I have been in many, many, many situations. And one thing that uh, I learned is that one. Even my wife nowadays, even though the situation, economical, political, blah, 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 blah uh, say, be, be optimistic, be uh, okay, avoid that one. Okay, guys, so good. So great, 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 your English is so. Now, you, your mind, believes that you tell it, so be positive. Which paragraph do you believe that would be this one? One, two, three, four, I think there are four, four, five paragraphs. That, the ones that, that, that is a number three. So Oscar, do you think that is number three? Uh, you might believe, uh-huh. And does anyone have a different opinion? Uh, you might believe it, so you tell it, so be positive about your memory. Or uh, uh, do all of you have the same, uh, agree? I mean, agree with Oscar? Paragraph number two, maybe? Okay. <laughs> No, but uh, what about the, the one Oscar said? Is it possible? Is it not possible? Yeah, it is possible. It is possible. Uh, we, yes. we're, we're not checking if the answers are okay, okay. We're just debating, okay? So, in fact, I shouldn't be <laughs> talking too much. It has to be with you guys. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, well, it's possible that is number three. Now, I will up, I will take I will um, turn off my microphone. It is on you. The discussion for for the for the next ones. No, Mr. Lopez microphone anymore. Sara, uh, Sara, Carla, or Romeo, or Oscar can say, for me, that's no, no, the next one is number one. And what do you think about it? Well, I agree, I don't agree, because of this one being respectable, of course, okay? We're just debating, okay? For me, for example, when you say if you train your memory actively, you'll be more likely to remember things. It, it is the answer for four paragraphs. Uh, do you agree, guys? Don't agree? Before we go back to the main room, because the time is almost up and I need to go to another group. Okay, guys, we need to go back to the main room. And let me tell you that uh, it's really nice that you were reading, discussing. Your English is on the way, so please... Don't give up, don't stop learning, okay? So uh, let me just close this one and close all the sessions because we need to go back. And fuck. Ah, el tiempo se ha acabado. Okay. Let's go back to the, the main room. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. Oh, it worked, I think, Scott, it worked perfectly. Okay, do you were you having a discussion about the topics over there? Yeah? So no, there's, oh, okay, great. Uh, just let's, let's, uh, Everybody's coming back, so they should be back in a minute or so in order to take the attendance. Uh, let me remind you that this course is sending on, it will be ending on Thursday next week. So please get advanced on the on the on the platform with your tasks, with your evaluations over there. And um and I was checking and all the things that is over there, we have seen it. But the, I understand there is a video. So if you, you feel more com comfortable, check it, check the video that they put it on there for you um, uh, before you do the task. Okay, remember that you, I believe it, that you can do it more than once. I need everybody back, 18. I need to take the attendance. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, uh-huh. Twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Yeah, I guess I, I can take the attendance right now. Oh. 
Uh, we are ready, teacher. Oh, yeah. Let me take the attendance. Um, Ana Ivania Guevara. Ana Ivania. Eh, Daniel Alejandro Llanes. Present teacher, I'm here. Eh, Eduardo José Melgar. I'm here, teacher. Eh, Francisco Antonio. Present, mister. Eh, Gabriel José Hernández. Gabriel. Eh, Giovanni Stanley. I'm here. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Hector Ivan Perez. Present teacher. Eh, Ivan Ibrahim Ramirez. I am teacher. Eh, Janet Carolina Rivera. Janet. Eh, Jorge Alberto. Present teacher. Rosalino. I hear the chair. Julio Cesar. Here, teacher. Carla Selena Hernandez. Present, teacher. Eh, Carla Rene Delgado. Present, teacher. Eh, Catherine Lisbeth Espinosa. Present, teacher. Eh, Luis Eduardo Méndez. Present. Eh, Mar Marlene Elizabeth Valle. Present teacher. Uh, Melissa Stephanie Linares Urquilla. Present. Uh, Michelle Beatriz Diaz. Present teacher. Uh, Neptali Antonio Mejia. Present teacher, I'm here. Oscar Alexander Santana. Present teacher. Uh, Oscar Obdulio Amador. Present teacher. Uh, Romeo Vladimir Rosales. Present teacher. Eh, Sara Elisa Belloso. Present. Eh, Sofía Elizabeth Pérez. Present. Eh, Wendy Paola López. Wendy. Eh, Xiomara Violeta. Present. Jenny Carolina Ardón. Teacher, by the way, Wendy is writing in the chat. Ah, okay. Okay. Teacher, I'm here, my microphone. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> okay, Wendy, thank you. Okay, thank you, Giovanni. Okay. Okay, guys, have a nice weekend. See you on the... On Monday, yes. Okay. Oh, no. Bye -bye. Next week, teacher. <laughs> Thank you so much. You too. Happy weekend, guys. Thank you guys. so much. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.